Hello folks, and welcome to an optional stream. I'm calling it optional because it's not part of the normal streaming schedule that we're doing for Final Fantasy X. I don't normally stream on a Saturday, and it's probably going to be a bit of a painful one. So that's why I'm keeping it on a day that I don't normally stream on, so you guys don't feel like you have to watch this one if you normally do. But what we're going to do, or what we're going to attempt to do, is get the Sun Sigil. And the way you get the Sun Sigil is by doing the most annoying side quest in Final Fantasy X. Now, some people would say that that's the Lightning Dodge Trophy, and it may very well be. But there is a trick with the Lightning Dodge Trophy that you can do that makes that a lot easier. There is no real trick to this particular race. Yes, there are strategies and tips which I'm going to go through with you. But there's no effective way to cheese it. You've just got to flipping do it over and over and over. And I have been doing it over and over and over. I've been doing this all morning for several hours. And I still haven't done it. Okay, I hate it with a passion. And I wanted to let you guys in so that you can join me in the pain. Now, I do apologise... As with Monday, I have got this cold thing, bit of a chest infection. The last few days, I couldn't breathe properly. Uh, but I seem to be on the mend now, so hopefully we'll be good to go and it won't be too distracting for you guys. But thank you so much, by the way. Hello to you all in chat. I've seen a few of you before I've uh, actually gone live here sharing various uh, strategies and tips yourself, which I'm sure will be very helpful. And yes... I have been playing E8. I'm only about two and a half hours in. I started it soon before I started trying to do all this chocobo stuff. So I've neglected it a little bit, but I have been really enjoying the opening of that game. And once I've got this trophy, I'm looking forward to getting back into it in my own personal gaming time. Of course, as far as the streams go, we'll be continuing to get the platinum for FF10. <laughs> but yeah, bonus stream for the win. Hi, Skepsis. And everybody else as well. Yeah, I despise this minigame. Right, okay. So, for those of you that are new, or for those of you that perhaps need a refresher because you've not done this before. Oh, by the way, yeah, I saw your message that it's your birthday, Holly. So, yeah, happy birthday to you. Effectively, you've got to get to the end with a time of 0 0.0.0. .0. And as you can see, my best time is 0 0.4 of a second. Which was an infuriating time to get. It's a pretty good job I didn't get my reaction to that on camera. So, I've got to get 0.4 better than my best. Or actually 0.5 because 0 exactly doesn't count. You have to... It will say 0, but you actually need to get 0.1 under 0, which is annoying. Now, the way you get a time, so... Uh, close to zero or at zero is by collecting balloons. Each balloon you get shaves three seconds off the timer. So without any further ado, let's just get into this and you can see what it's all about, as I'm sure many of you know already. And the worst thing about this, in my opinion, are the controls. But let's see how we get on. So in this opening section, you need to get about four balloons minimum, really. I've got three so far. And three is all I'm getting on this attempt. And then we need to dodge all the birds as well. Every bird technically removes three seconds off your timer. But the problem is, is that you also slow down remarkably. And that just means then that you are losing even more time. Oh, that was going after the trainer. Stupid bird to try and dodge. That's going after me. Yeah, this last section is by far and away the hardest. And my time sucked as well, so... The way you win this then, as you can see on this first attempt, we got to the finish line in 37.9 seconds. We got hit by a bird, which slowed us down by 2 seconds. So, had we not got hit by a bird, the time there would say about 35.9, which would have been a good time. Uh, the problem is we only got 10 balloons. We need to either have 12 balloons and 0 birds with a time of 30, under 36 seconds. That will allow us to win and get the trophy and the sun sigil. Or we need to get 14 balloons and get hit by a maximum of one bird with the same time of about 36 seconds. That's because each balloon shaves three seconds off your timer. So 12 balloons is 36 seconds. Which means if you get hit by zero birds, you get 12 balloons. 
and you finish at exactly 36 seconds, your time will be reduced to zero seconds. But you won't get the trophy or the Sun Seagull because you'd need 0.1 of a second less than that even. It's a nightmare. It really is. It's a horrendous quest. The camera sucks. Everything sucks about it. I generally suck at doing it. And it's just a case of doing it over and over and over and over until you get it. So I should, if I do this right, be able to get about four of these balloons because they're over at the right here. So two. I missed that one. I only got three. I should have got four of them. If the balloons spawn at the left or in the middle, you ain't getting those on the first section. So we can dodge the birds down here. That's four, five. Let's dodge these. So I haven't got enough. I need eight really by this point. Six, seven, eight. There we go. After the train. So go over a bit to the middle so we can dodge the next set of birds. Dodge. Oh, come on. This last section is by far and away the worst. I wasn't going to do that even without getting hit by the birds because I hadn't got enough balloons. <laughs> Suffering is temporary. The platinum is eternal. So, 12.7 seconds. Not bad. Not bad. But still an eternity away from where we need to be. Yeah, 13 balloons with no bird hits is the ideal finish and will almost certainly net you the reward each time. I can't get these next balloons now because the train is in front. However, you can do it with 12 balloons if you finish in under 36 seconds. Even 35.9 would do it. So we know we can't win this one because we didn't get enough balloons at the start. So instead, we'll use it as a practice for dodging birds. Okay, so this is where the bird dodging becomes quite difficult. So we'll move to the left. Move back to the middle so we can move back again. That's going after the trainer. Move to the left. This one's going to be hard to dodge. Yep. I needed to ideally move a little bit further over to the right first. So we had more maneuvering space over to the left on that second set of birds at the end. Oh, I've not played Pokemon in years and years, Thunder Dragon. So I ain't getting involved in that now. Too late for me. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to be able to get many balloons at the start here, unfortunately. In fact, I might not be able to get any. And the problem there was the way the balloons had spawned. Unless they spawn over at the right, you're out of luck because the trainer will always be able to get them then. So, again, this is just going to be a practice run. Mainly on the uh, third phase here, which is the hardest phase. So... The first set of birds will be for us, so we'll move over to the left. These next set, I believe, will be for the trainer. And that's for us. Yep. Yeah. Move over to the left. Okay, so it is possible to dodge all the birds, as you can see there. You have to get into your mind which birds are going to be for you and which birds are going to be for the trainer, because you can't dodge all the birds if you try and do that. It's not going to happen. You effectively have to preempt that the, the birds that are coming are going to be for the trainer so that you can be in a position away from them without having to dodge them, if that makes sense. And as long as you're in front of the trainer on that third phase, which you should be, then the first two birds are going to be for you. That's what I've noticed in my experience, so you know you need to dodge those. Oh, I should have got that one. Uh, and then the next two will be for the trainer. I only got three balloons, I think, which isn't enough, really. Oh. And, of course, the balloon placement in this section is also really important. And I don't want to go to the left there. So we'll just use this as a practice again. Right, the next two, I think, will be for us. So we'll move to the middle. Yeah, the problem was I moved too fast. You've got to time your movements as well. If you move too fast and you're already at the edge when the bird spawns, you, you can't dodge it then. I know, Sage. Like, they're just trying to induce your rage even more when it says one more time. I'm like, oh yeah, because one more time is all it's going to be, right? One more time. I've never played it on the channel, Final Fantasy VI, but I have played it. Okay, I should be able to get a few of these. All right, there's two. Three, four. If we can get the last one, get five. Oh, close. But you can get five, as you can see. 
Should be getting those ones. I've got five now. Six. Yeah, you won about eight by this bit. Let's move over. Right, that's for the trainer, and I should not be getting hit by trainer birds. Hmm. Not great, really. Oh, thanks so much. The cars, appreciate that. Okay, what was that, 14 seconds? I mean, it makes no real difference. Yeah, I might have seen it, Rose, to be honest. I've seen a lot of guides on this. I don't know if I make another dedicated guide like I did with the last Chocobo race, but we'll see. To be honest, there's not a whole lot one can really say about this that hasn't already been said a thousand times before. Yeah, there's a few strategies which I'm sharing with you guys now and tips that will help you on your way. But ultimately, it's just down to the execution, the balloon placement, and just how it goes uh, in the race itself. Well, let's move over now. The next two birds should be his. Yep, and now ours. Move, move, move. No! I don't think we've got enough balloons anyway, so the hits don't really matter there. But, yeah, if you get no hits, you want a minimum of 12 balloons, but you have to finish in just under 36 seconds. And that will take 36 seconds off your time, 12 balloons. If you get hit by one bird, you need a minimum of 14 balloons. Oh, I haven't seen it red, to tell you the truth, mate. Oh. Screwed this one up. I should have got a lot more than that on the start of that particular setup. As you can see as well, one really annoying thing is when you touch the invisible wall to the right, your chocobo sort of does a hard turn back into the race field, back into the path, which you can't control easily. And it's, like I say, it's a bit of a nuisance. It really is. So when you see me doing that and missing easy balloons, it's not because I'm purposefully doing that, obviously. It's because this flipping thing's got a mind of its own. At the moment, Adiga, at the moment. Yeah, this is definitely ranking up there as one of the worst side quests in Final Fantasy. Look, balloon place. I cannot do anything about the fact that I cannot get these balloons. I just can't do that. If they don't spawn at the right, you're just completely out of luck, really, at that point. So I'm now on zero. And there's nothing I can do about that. But still, best thing to do, like I say, when you have a bad start because of bad placements or whatever, just use it as a practice run. So let's see if we can continue to, to dodge these birds now. So we move over to the left, move back to the right. Next two, I think, should be for him. But sometimes you can't always predict it. Look. The last two were for us, and then the two after were also for us. And that's because the trainer was still so far behind, which we can't see, that he hadn't spawned his birds. Yeah, definitely, Roach. Right, so the reward for doing this is the Sun Seizure, which you need for Tidus' ultimate weapon, his celestial weapon. And on top of that, you also need it for the Platinum Trophy, if you're going for that, which I am. So if you want to get the best weapon for Tidus, this is an optional is not optional, unfortunately. Uh, we got four there, which isn't a bad, bad number. So we'll dodge the birds. Try and grab a couple of these in the middle, which is risky. You don't want to go over to the middle, really, if you can help it. So you gotta get good balloon placement. And for that, you need them at the edge, really. Which I didn't get there. So again, we'll just use this as practice. And fail the practice. Right there for the trainer. These are for us. Next two should be for the trainer. So, it's important, as I say, that you try and predict which birds are going to be for which chocobo. Because you, if you're going to assume they're all for you, you're not going to dodge them all. Because the ones that are for each bird, home towards that particular chocobo. So I could technically get five here. I've got three. Missed the last one, but as you can see, you can get five there, which isn't needed. 
but it can help out big time. Five. Six. Move, 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 because next bird's going to spawn. Couldn't get those balloons there because I would have got hit by the birds. That's seven. Eight. Moving to the right's risky on that, but you don't want to be doing that if you can avoid it. There for us as well. Nine. Ten. So, still not enough bur uh, balloons, and we also got hit. <sighs> you can see why this takes a long time. A long time. You effectively have to get this perfect. You have to get perfect balloon placements. A little bit of luck in not having the birds hit you. And of course, a little bit of skill is involved as well because the controls suck. Need to get this one really. Okay, so we've got four balloons. What's the placement looking like here? Not great. Don't want to be going over the left there. Yeah, this is obviously a failure. So, in the middle section here, you need to really be staying over to the right. So, if we split this into three phases, the first phase is where there's no birds. The second phase is that big middle section. This is the third phase. By far and away, this is the hardest of them all. The third phase is definitely the trickiest because there's such a small amount of space in that corridor at the end. Oh, okay. Okay, Funky, that's interesting. It's just about, I think, what makes it more likely and unlikely. So, I should be able to get four here. I can technically get four of these five. But I've obviously fluffed that. I think we got three of the five. Which isn't really ideal. The placement here is not too bad though. But he's going to get a few which is annoying. Yeah, going in the middle isn't good. I've missed too many balloons. Oof. The bird dodging's not been too bad so far on this attempt. But one thing as well that's worth mentioning. Is that our trainer, or rather guy that we're training against never got hit in the middle section in phase two that's a fail as well most of the time so we did pour on balloons there see how we finished at 38.2 seconds that would have actually been 36.2 seconds if we hadn't got hit by a bird everyone knows that the birds take three seconds off your time but some people forget that they also stun you and that actually adds two seconds onto your time as well. So two balloons at the start, that isn't enough. You know, the Japanese version of the game, you can actually glitch this. Fortunately, it doesn't work in this version. So obviously got not enough balloons and we got hit on this attempt. But I'm just going to use this again as practice. Try and dodge the birds here. There's one. I couldn't move over anymore. There for the trainer. These are for me. Trainers, birds. Yeah, so the Japanese version. I saw a video by somebody. I think it was Jang's 08. Um, you can actually glitch it so that the birds don't do anything to you. I'll tell you what. If you didn't have to worry about the birds, you could do this in one or two attempts. But unfortunately... That glitch does not work on any other version of the game apart from the Japanese version. The original PS2 Japanese version. I think that's a version that doesn't even have the dark aeons and stuff. See, I couldn't even get that last balloon. It's put it in a position where you physically can't get it because the choker boat does a hard turn. Yeah, just to clarify as well for those... I'm going to get hit here. Uh, for those that forget or haven't done it for a while or haven't done it at all, you don't control the actual forward movement of the bird or the turns around the corners. It does that for you, which is kind of annoying. You can only move it left or right. And even so, it's really, really finicky. And yeah, sometimes you are just going to have bad runs. That was a bad run in every definition. It really wasn't good. <laughs> At the moment, Shadow, I'd say I'm on about a four or five, but that may increase throughout the stream, if I'm honest. 
So I should be able to get a few here. It's so sensitive. I only got three, I think. So sensitive, the controls. Oh, come on. Yeah, going right is what you want to do on this bit, but... Sometimes it just... Even that doesn't go in your favour. <laughs> I think this is the worst in terms of balloon collection so far. It's hard to see there because the trainer was in front. Whose was who? I think that's mine. Nope, that's mine. Okay. I think Final Fantasy IX's jump rope is definitely the worst side quest. Possibly of all time of any game that I've ever played. Hiya, Dad. It's going good, thanks, mate. I'm not pulling my hair out just yet, but I'm sure that will happen. However, I think that this is probably going to be my worst side quest of Final Fantasy X. I know I haven't done the lightning dodge yet, but I don't think it can compete against this. This is just agony. Okay, so we've got a few balloons there, but you can't get excited because this final section is really where the pain is. Look, I've ended up going to the right, which isn't good. So, there's no way I'm getting 14 balloons, and that's if I don't get hit again. Okay. Yeah, did it once, but never again. Yeah, yeah, that's the good thing, Curry Boy. As soon as you've done it, you've done it. As long as you save your game after. Somebody mentioned in chat earlier that they didn't do that. 10.3. Not terrible. Not terrible. Yeah, you've got to brave some runs. It is disheartening when you get a start like this and you know you just can't get enough balloons, really. But if we can get three, maybe we'd have a chance. We did get three of phase one there, so we did a good phase two, I feel. Yeah, I had to take a risk then. Because the balloons had all spawned in the middle. So even though I knew I was likely to get hit by a bird, it was something I kind of had to had to do to try and risk getting some of those balloons. Right, let's move a bit over again for the next spawn. Move, move, move. Okay, not a terrible attempt, but we had a bad middle section then. Yeah, I think so, Suta Kane. I think so. Especially because of the little trick you can do with the lightning dodge. So we get 27 seconds, taking us down to 10.5. But. Not enough. It's hard to even get 12 or 13 balloons. Despite getting them, whilst also not getting hit by any flipping birds. Okay, well, we got a few there. Right. Dodge the first set. Yeah, again, I had to take that risk. People will be like, why go into the middle? That's where the birds spawn. But unfortunately, if the balloons have also spawned in the middle, it's your only chance. For that run, anyway. Okay, I'm actually doing better, I feel, in that phase three. Yes, you can do it with 12 balloons, Dad, as long as... That will take 36 seconds off your time at 3 seconds a balloon. As long as you get an actual finish line time of 35.9 or less and are hit by zero birds. If you can get 13 balloons, then that makes it a little bit easier because it's very difficult to finish at 35.9 or less. Right, let's see what we can do here. Only got one. I should have got both of those. Couldn't get them. The bird turned itself. Balloon placement looked somewhat favourable in that first phase, but ultimately it wasn't. Alright, we'll just stay over here, see if we can just keep hammering away at, at improving our phase three skills. Dodge as. Those should be for the trainer, so let's just get hit by them anyway. Now as. Now the trainers. As. Like I said. Oh, thank you so much, Paddy. If you could pick another Final Fantasy character to make into Super Smash Bros, who would you choose? I'm not 
too familiar with Super Smash, if I'm honest with you. I, I haven't played it, so I'm not sure exactly what characters from Final Fantasy are in there. I'm guessing the big boys are in there, aren't they? I mean, some of my favourite characters, like in Final Fantasy X, for example, uh, would probably be Auron, in terms of um, characters I wouldn't mind seeing in other, other games and stuff. But maybe he's already in there, I'm not sure. Oh, wow, this was a bad phase two. The balloon placement was actually pretty nice. And I just fluffed it. I just didn't get enough balloons. Yeah. I knew I was likely to take a hit there, but... Sometimes you just got to take those risks. That was annoying. The actual opponent blocked us. And I couldn't move. Yeah, this was a terrible attempt. It happens. It happens. Sure, Jeff. Yeah, hello, Josh and Jim. How are you doing? Uh, Cloud and Seth. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I have seen them uh, in that game. Terra would be interesting. Have they got any Final Fantasy VI characters? Okay, we've got two. Can we get three? Yes. Yeah, just to clarify, in phase one there, you cannot get any balloons that do not spawn at the right. That's why I didn't even attempt those first two. Yeah, dodging the birds isn't too difficult in phase two there, he says. But this is where it's really at. Okay, they're going after the train, and these will be mine. Uh, that'll be mine as well, I think, because I was in front of the trainer there. Trainers. Okay. Okay. Oh, dear. Yeah, there is... For the Lightning Dodge trophy, there is a, an exploit where you can stand in the crater. But you need a no encounters weapon or armor equipped, which I don't have yet. Otherwise, you're still going to be pulling your hair out trying to do that. That wasn't bad. Got four, I think. Right, we need him to get hit. Which he has done. Got to get these middle ones. Got one of them. Ah, that's a risky one. See, this isn't a bad attempt in terms of balloons. Oh, no. I moved over too soon, so I couldn't get out of the way of that other one. Yeah. So, it's usually my... The way it works for me. If I have a good phase one and phase two, I'll have a terrible phase three, like I did them. Terrible phase three. And yet, when I fluff up at the start in phase one or phase two. I mean, look at this. Let me just run through this with you. So, we got a time of 39.2 seconds. Now, we actually got hit by two birds. Two birds, the stun before you start running again is two seconds. So, with two birds, that's four. Which means we would have got that at 34. Or it's actually about one and a half seconds. Uh, or just over. So I reckon we would have got that just under 36 seconds. And then that 12 balloons would have done it for us. So in terms of balloons, we did okay then. You can do it with 12 balloons. But because of those stupid birds that stopped us. Obviously it ended up being a fail. So it made no difference how many balloons we got. Two. Three. It's really hard to get it when they spawn in that position. So I don't think three will be enough, sadly. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe we could do it. Ten. We'll have to go over to the right. Eleven. I'd need fourteen now. Twelve. Thirteen. Course. And I stumbled at the end there, which would have added to our time. Unfortunately, that won't be enough, but that was the most balloons I've got in a single run. That was a good one, but it wasn't good enough. 2.7. If we hadn't got hit by that bird, we wouldn't have added four seconds onto our time, or three seconds from the bird, and then one, uh, just over one and a half seconds from the stun. 
Sometimes, that's just the way it goes. As a matter of fact, it's more than sometimes. It's most of the time. Oh, this is a terrible spawn. I can't get these. Oh, I almost tried to get the last one, but this is a practice run again. So let's just get to phase three. I'll tell you what, if this minigame was dodge the balloons, get hit by the birds, I'm pretty sure I'd have got it already. <laughs> right, dodge our first two, move over. That should be for the trainer. Yep, dodge ours. And then for the trainer. You see, when I'm not under pressure, the final phase isn't too bad. Isn't too bad at all. Oh, Shadow, don't get too excited. Trust me on that. You, you feel like you're close and you can be on it for hours still. Absolutely hours. Okay. Yeah, freebie balloon around the first corner. The problem is it's exceedingly difficult to be in front of the train around that first corner. I think we've got four there. Ah, oh, yeah. I, can't, I don't think I'll be able to do that. And also, the balloon spawn is just too random to know exactly where it's going to be. So, again, this is just a practice run, really. We've got a few balloons there. Right, next one should be for the trainer, I think. Yep. Yeah. As. Oh, yeah, I was on the wrong side for as then. <sighs> yeah, it seems so, Jeff. It seems so. There is a lot of RNG in this. Now, don't get me wrong. Even when you have a good placement, you need to play well. I could technically get all five here, but I don't think that's going to happen of the first five here. One, two, three, four. Oh, I did. I got five. But trust me, that's just the beginning of it all. Six. Seven. I can't go for those middle ones. As you can see, I'd have been destroyed there. Eight. We need this one. Nine. What's the placement like here? Not great. Ten. Eleven. Ah! I knew it. <sighs> We'd have done that. Stupid bird. I was really hoping that the first two birds that spawned were going to be for the trainer there. But of course, they were for us. I knew there was going to be no way to dodge it if it was for us. That was a really good time as well. Unfortunately, it's enough. It's a... What the flip? Did we do it, guys? Did we actually do it? 35 minutes. Plus the, like, five hours I was on it before. But in terms of the stream, I was not expecting that. But hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This has got to be under 0, 0, 0. .0. So, will we get the Sun Seagull? Yes, I think we will. I think we will. We did it! I cannot believe it. I really, 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 really did not expect to do it even on this stream after like two hours. We did it. We did it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I've got to save my game. The reason I didn't get the trophy, by the way, is I'd actually got it on a previous playthrough from 2013. But I still needed to do it on this playthrough. Because I need the ultimate weapons also for another trophy. So, if this is your first time getting it on a playthrough, you will get a trophy there, which you obviously need. Flipping heck. I am shocked by that. I did not expect to get it that quickly. You guys in chat were like, you could feel it. It was going to happen close. It was going to, you know, it was it was inevitable. And I didn't believe you. I thought I was going to be here for another 10 hours. But yeah, I am going to get the weapon as well. But I do need to save my game. <laughs> Goodness, imagine if I had a power cut or something. Don't say anything yet, Fuzz. Let's get this bloody saving place. Suffering temporary platinum eternal. Yes. You might be thinking, why did I put myself through that? 
if I've already got the trophy for getting the Sun Siege from a previous playthrough? Well, because for whatever reason on that stupid playthrough, which I no longer have a save file for, it was from the PS3, like, years ago. You still need to do it for... Dum -dum -dum, this one here, Weapon Master. Okay. I'm pretty sure you have to power up the Celestial Weapons for this. Maybe I'm wrong, but you still need it to do what I just did for the uh, weapon, even if it's not powered up. It's the only way to move the NPC out of the way. So, that was still required for me to do. <laughs> right, I think I know where the weapon is, even though I didn't expect to do this. Going off memory, I think it's around here. Am I right? You can only get this. Once you've done that. Yeah, here we go. It's down here, look. Make sure you have the Celestial Mirror. Yeah, very true, Shadow. Very true. Okay, you don't need to power them up, Alex says. That's interesting to know. It's probably why like 10% or something have got it, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got the, uh, what's it called? The Cadabolg or the Cal Caladbolg or something? I don't know. But yeah, getting the weapon is only part of the problem. You have to get the Siege and the Crest. Ah, just escape these battles. You have to get the Siege and the Crest for every weapon in order to power them up. So, for example, Tidus' weapon, which we just got here. We need to get the Siege, which we have done. That was from doing that race. And we also need to get the crest, the sun crest. Which I think is from the Xanacand ruins. Maybe the trials. But I'll have to check that out because I'm going off memory there. So I won't be using that weapon because out of the bat, pretty sure the ultimate weapons kind of suck. Uh, let me just check. Yeah, there it is. Uh, it's got four slots, but unfortunately, the only actual ability it has is no AP. So by powering it up, not only do we remove the no AP, but we get a whole bunch of useful abilities like break, damage limit, uh, AP, triple or something, and other cool stuff as well. So. All right then, folks. Well, I'll tell you what, this was faster than I expected, but we've done what I intended to do. So I think I'm going to actually leave things there. We'll be back for the mainstream on Monday. So not tomorrow, but then on Monday I'll be back. I am so relieved, guys. So relieved that I've done that race. I was on it for hours, I kid you not. And apart from that one time I got to 0 0.4 seconds, I just felt like I was never going to do it. But all it took was a little bit of bit of streaming luck. So, thank you so much to all of you that uh, lent me your support there. I think that's what got us through, ultimately. Okay, thank you, Misty Dolphin. So, the Sun Crest is the one from Unaleska's boss room. Gotcha. Yeah, thank you, Brendan. Hiya, Preston. Yeah, those of you that are just joining, you've just missed the fun stuff. We've just beat the Chocobo race, so... You might want to check out the archive of the stream when it's gone live because I was not expecting to do that when we did it. Especially because on the actual successful attempt, we got hit by a bird. And as far as I'd calculated, if you got hit by a bird, you needed 14 balloons minimum. But we had such a good finishing line time that 13 was enough there. So, yeah, thank you so much for all of you that have joined us for this 40-minute uh, stream or whatever it was. I know it wasn't a long one, but it did what it said on the tin, and that was the Chocobo race. We just got it done a lot sooner than I anticipated we would. Oh, nice job, Red. Nice job. So, yeah, guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I guess this stream archive can serve as my guide to this particular annoying side quest. And I will see you on Monday as we continue on with Final Fantasy X. And apart from the Lightning Dodge trophy and the grinding the Sphere Grids, I think... We're on the way here to the Platinum. I really do. I think it is very doable now. I was a little bit unsure before getting that Sun Siegel. But now I'm thinking it's doable. So. Alright folks. Have a great weekend. What's left of it. And I'll see you in a couple of days. 2.30pm UK time Monday if you can make it.
We'll crack on with the story. We'll be leaving the calm lands. See you soon, guys. Take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.